Greetings on the behalf of the car team. My name is Vlad and in this video I'll show you how easy it is to connect your first device to the car platform. After this video you should feel very confident and comfortable in connecting a physical or simulated device. Anyways, let's get straight to it. First we'll need a car cloud account. You can create an account for free. It's as simple as clicking a few buttons. Let me demonstrate. You go to carproject.org or cariot.com and click sign up. You'll be redirected to this page. Just input your information. And once you create your account, you'll be redirected to this page. And then to get redirected to the cloud, you'll just click this blue button at the top right hand corner. Use cloud for free and then go to cloud and you'll be redirected here. All right, perfect. Now that we've uh, created our cloud account, Let's connect our device. In this video, I'll be using the ESP8266 device, which can be purchased on Amazon or any other tech-based website. Now, to connect our device, I'll be using the Arduino software to direct the connection from my device. Arduino is free, so you can try it out as well. First, go to Google, type in Arduino, click Softwares, and that's where you'll be able to download Arduino. Once you install it, it's as simple as plugging in your device. However, if you're using Windows, some complications may arise when trying to connect your device to Arduino. You see, you will need to download a certain driver for the computer to recognize the device that we'll be connecting. Now, since I'm using the ESP8266 device and using the Windows 10, I will, be, I will need to download the CH340 driver. It'll usually tell you the driver you need on the back of the actual device. Let me show you how easy it is to download the driver. Go to Google, type in CH340, and the first link should work. Perfect. Now let's connect my device here. All you need is a USB device and the device itself. Plug in and I've connected it. Okay, now after connecting it, uh, we will need to tell the device what to do, right? And to do that, we will need uh, to have some code prepared. I've prepared mine to save some time. Now, if you're using the same device as me, feel free to follow along. You can also copy and use the same code as me. I will leave a link in the description for your convenience. Or if you want to write your own code, you can create, you can get some extra assistance on our website, which I will leave a link to in the description as well. Now to connect the device, we will need the internet name, password, employee token, and application version in the Arduino. So let's input the internet name and password. Okay, now to get the endpoint token and the application version, we need to go to the car cloud. But before we do that, I want to tell you what the end token is. And the end token is used to verify the identity of endpoints before data can be transmitted to car. Authorized communication requests received by car are resolved into endpoint IDs, which are then coupled with endpoint tokens. The coupling results in the ability to suspend, suspend, revoke, reactivate, reissue endpoint tokens without impacting the endpoint ID. Now, an endpoint is any terminal device connected to COM. It can be physical or a software. And an endpoint ID is simply an ID that allows to uniquely identify connected endpoints. And the endpoint ID is usually a UUID that is automatically generated by COM when a new endpoint is connected. Now let's create and connect our endpoint. First, let's go to the cloud and then go to devices. Just click this and you'll be redirected to device. And then you just gotta add device. You have to name your device. I already have, and then just create. This is your endpoint token. Make sure you save this. Let's close this out. Let's go to Arduino, input the token, control V. And to get the application version, all we have to do is just copy this right here. Copy. Like so. Go back to Arduino and input that there. Now it's as simple as clicking the upload button. Like so. It's compiling a sketch. So I'll be back when that's done. Okay, it's done uploading. So to make sure that everything's working fine, we just click tools and then go to serial monitor. And right here, if we wait for a couple seconds, it will show that it's publishing our data to COP. Okay, so now if we go back, as you can see, there's data already being produced. All right, perfect. Now that we've successfully connected our physical device, I will now show you how to connect the simulated device. It's as simple as going to the solutions tab and creating a, a template. Like so, you just click one of these. I've already created mine, so I'll just go here. And then I click home. 
Once you're here at home, as you can see, our simulated device is offline. To connect it, you just click Connect Simulator, click Fork, and then you'll be redirected to this page. Then go back, take the application version, copy and paste it into the application version here, like so, and then click Run at the top. Simple as that. Now, now that that's done, we just go back and as you can see we've successfully connected our simulated device if we click here we will see that it's been generating uh, data perfect now on this note i want to invite you uh, to try this out for yourself you can create a free account with cop and connect to your first five devices free of charge now i would like to thank you all for watching i hope this video has helped you in connecting your first device Take care.